All right, hi everyone. We are going to teach you today how to make maps of the locations that you do your encounters in Baldur's Gate in Archiforge, so you can play these encounters uh, in D and D at home. So, you know, you can for, for very small encounters, you can use tactical view and zoom out like this. Uh, hit F10 to get rid of your UI, and you can take a screenshot of that. So if you've got an encounter that, you know, is only this big, you could feasibly import that into Arkham Forge, add a few lighting barriers, and play your adventure like that. But this encounter seen everything. is quite big, actually, depending on where you start it. It can take up this whole area. And as you can see, even though we're zoomed out as far as possible, the camera angles keep changing a bit as we pan around the map. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to bring back that UI and we're going to go into the map here. And we're going to get screenshots of the overhead map like this. So we're going to zoom in and grab a couple of closer up screenshots like that. And now we're going to jump over into the Ark and Forge toolkit, and I'm going to show you how to bring these screenshots into Ark and Forge and use them as a guide to create a whole new custom animated map of the ancient ruins based off that map using Ark and Forge assets and get it ready to play either online or on one of your digital tabletops if you've got one. So we're going to jump into the Ark and Forge toolkit now and get started on that. Alrighty, and we're back, and we're going to make some maps. So the first thing we're going to do is we have imported our screenshot. We've got a few here. We've got a nice big overhead one here. And then we've got a couple of close-ups. Uh, okay, those ones are not the one we're going with right now. So we'll get rid of those. And we'll just keep these ones. <clears throat> so I'm going to use the close-up ones because I'm going to get a better resolution out of those. First thing we want to do is we want to move it to the terrain layer. So that we can see the grid over it. And now we're just going to work on getting the scale right. There we go. So there's our scale set. It's so very nice of the, the Larian Studios designers to make it have a nice proper D and D grid on the map um, when they finished making the game which is great very helpful for what we're doing today
Okay, so that was an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours worth of uh, map making condensed down into an eight times the speed time lapse. So you can see there's a lot that goes into making these maps, especially when we're trying to make it look like something that already exists, you know, like something that's got accurate areas that we need to recreate and stuff like that. So I'm going to go away and keep working on that map and stay tuned for part two of this video when I finish it, which will be to record a walkthrough of the area in the game and uh, then pan around the player screen and show you what I've created in the final version of the map and show you all the different effects and features that Ark and Forge has that you can put into that map to recreate these locations in Baldur's Gate using Ark and Forge. Uh, until then, if you make any of the Baldur's Gate maps, in Ark and Forge or use them in your games using the screenshots and stuff using Ark and Forge, uh, share a video in our Discord in the Show Off channel or tag us on social media so we can have a look. We'd love to see what you're creating. Uh, bye for now.